Our band has two names, depending on who's playing. What happened is in 2007, we started performing as a band. There's a five-piece band that started performing, and then just the fiddler and I started performing together because if a pub is going to hire a band, they don't have the space or the money for five people. So we were doing our own thing, just the two of us, and the five-piece band was doing its own thing. Actually, it was six pieces at the time. And uh, I'm really good at picking out band names from conversation or song lyrics. And I was listening to an Irish song one day and it had the phrase seldom sober in it. I'm a rover, seldom sober. And I said, that's a really good band name. But the fiddler uh, called me that evening and said, as far as I'm concerned, you and I are seldom sober. So when the two of us perform together, that's our name. Uh, the large group unfortunately settled on a name that is, it's basically the McDonald's of Irish band names. We're the Savannah Cayley Band. Michael Corbett is our front man. Um, he plays a huge part uh, in, the, in the band. He um, sings most of the songs, um, uh, plays lead guitar on everything pretty much, and um, is pretty funny. Michael is definitely the lead man. <laughs> he's the lead man. He's the front man, lead man, he's all, he's everything. He's the, he's, he's the heart of the band. And uh, if it wasn't for Michael, we wouldn't be the Savannah Cayley Band. Uh, his depth and uh, knowledge about traditional Irish music is, is amazing. Uh, going back to his Boston days, uh, his associations with traditional Irish musicians, his knowledge of a, and friendship with Liam Clance, one of the giants of traditional Irish music, um, is, is just what brings so much authenticity in everything. I think, uh, are you even, uh, I think he might even be playing with Liam Clancy's nephew's guitar tonight. So there's this group called the Clancy Brothers that was really big in the 1960s, and they basically invented Irish music as we know it today. Before the Clancy Brothers, Irish singing was one person singing without a rhythm, with no instrumental accompaniment. And the Clancy Brothers turned it into guitars and rhythm and testosterone and energy and a whole group singing together and singing in harmony and it's the foundation of everything that happens in Irish music today and when I was a teenager they were in their 50s and 60s and I started to go see them perform and they were absolutely captivating phenomenal musicians not extremely talented uh, in terms of being able to do complicated material but they could take these things and perform them like nobody could and I was sitting at a show once, my friend and I hopped the fence at a county fair to get in, break in to see them, and they were near the end of their show and I was watching them and I said, why can't I do that? Because I'd been singing for years, I was pretty good at that. My parents owed me a graduation gift because I had just graduated from high school. I said, well, why don't I ask for a guitar and see if I can do this too? So that's what we did, I bought a guitar and uh, started taking music lessons in college and within a couple of years I was performing professionally and I actually became friends with the Clancy brothers. The primary person, Liam Clancy in particular, became one of my best friends. He was supposed to be the best man at my wedding except that he got sick. Uh, I went to Ireland to stay at his house and everything. So these people that inspired me to begin learning Irish music actually became my mentors and now a lot of the times when I'm performing on stage I actually use a guitar that one of them used to use in their concerts.